Hello everyone, and today we're going to go through how to prepare a horse for racing and enter into a race, and hopefully we get some action here. Um, see what happens. So, first thing you do is I'm going to assume everybody's got a horse in their stable already, right? So let's go to your stable. Lily, and you come here, and earlier I went ahead and prepared a horse, because I was trying, the transactions are taking forever, so... And this one, it, it looks a lot the same, but I'll do two horses just so you can see what it's like. Um, I'm also going to prepare, let's see, who should we bring out? Oh, Jimmy, he's good. Let's see. You know what, we're going to bring out Beaver's Bend, you know, just because... He's, he's got it in his name. So you click repair. This props up. I already opened my MetaMask, so it's all linked together, right? So, wait for it to go and think. It's like, boom. Is this what you want to do? Confirm. Bam. So that's the first part of the steps. Begin the, uh, begin the repair process. Now, I'd already done that with Hello Plus One, but now we got to... Taken from prepared, see how the status has changed. Race status is prepared. Now you have to click race. So it's like a two step process, and you have to wait till that first transaction goes through before you can go to this one. It's kind of a hassle, but it's all blockchain, so that's part of the reason for it. So it's here, boom, three bucks, all right, whatever. Can't wait for the gasless transactions. It's going to be awesome. All right, so now I'm sitting and wait. Now, see right here, I have confirmation our first one went through, so maybe we can refresh here and see. I'm going to have to uh, use that filter again. Date. Oldest makes it easier. Just on my, you can tell as I bought my horses, I started with C1s, right? <laughs> All right. So, come down. Uh, get to Beaver's Bend. Another thing you can do too is you can just do a quick search. If you know the horse's name, all right, bam. You know, you don't even have to get the whole name in there. You can just do part of it and it'll pop it up. So this is prepared. Go here, click race. Because we want to get him in there too. Pops up. Confirm. And we'll go. And since uh, Hello Plus One, I just got that transaction come through. We know we're good. So we're going to go over here to the buy in. All right. So Hello Plus One's a Griffin. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter him into this one right here. You know, personally, doesn't really matter which gate. I guess it does matter because they say gate match does matter. But I personally, I really like lane eight. Ten's not a bad one. Nine, I got a lot of wins out of too. You know, it's just kind of personal preference. But I found the eight just for me. You know, it's good. See, no races. He's a griffin. Not me. So what happens? Brings up the transaction window just like before. Thinking, thinking, three dollars, eh, yeah, a little high, but I'm, I'm going for it. Teach you guys how to do it. Bam! Hello, plus one. He's in there. You know, I'm just going to enter him. Try land nine on this one. Nominate. Brings it up. Well, probably too, when they release this, it's going to be all obsoleto. But for right now, this is how it works. Confirm. And transaction is going quick. I'm kind of liking it. Diggity dig dig. And you can enter three races at a time. So, personally, I like to try to enter them as many as I can because you never know which race is going to pop off first. All right? We want to get them on. And so we can go to class one here. We got two races going. I want to join this race really badly. 
Oh, not this one. Did that other one run? It did run. Okay, here's another thing for some of you new guys. Like, I have found that horses that haven't ran much or really lack experience do really well in the thousand meter. Right? If you try to do a long distance race, if you're kind of a rookie and you're going against going against vets, you might get your butt kicked a little bit. But I found that rookie horses tend to do well in the thousand meter. It's kind of like a uh, anybody's got a chance of winning this thing. You know, it's all about how your horse is feeling. But it, it, you know, racing you know records tend to not matter so much. That's why I put Hercules in here. Give me a chance to see the gates growing quick. So in that case, you know what? In that spirit, I'm gonna put. Where? Oh, maybe I have to do all of them to show. You do class one, it only shows you class one horses. All right, here we go. Where is that race? Right? right here. Bam. Uh, it's not showing. Well, damn, it's only showing my class ones, huh? Is it showing the Griffin? I'm showing hello plus one. Maybe I need to refresh. Mm -hmm. Oh, and a lot of times when you get this, see this gas fee is ridiculous. 118. You know, just reject it. Don't even, don't even actually confirm because well, usually what that means is the gate has been filled already. And so it throws that at you. Just don't do it. Anytime you see that little alert message, don't do it. Just back out. Sometimes if you try again, it goes away. But uh, you know what? Say that little caution arrow too. That little caution icon right there was telling you that, hey, your horse isn't in class one yet. Are you sure you want to do this? This gate's open. Let's go. Maybe he'll surprise us. See what happens. All right, cool. Let me refresh this, see if Beaver's been gets updated to it. Ooh, we don't transactions process. Let's see. So I go here and look. Open the window. Yep, I still only have the one. All the other ones are good. So if I want to enter Beaver in here, yep, there he is. Well, I'm going to try him lane four. If I remember right, he likes outside lanes. I have so many horses, sometimes I lose track. It's really not too difficult. I'd really love for a live race to pop off so you guys can watch a live with me and see how it really goes. But That's sweet. Gas fees are actually getting pretty low right now. It's kind of nice. So waiting for that one to go, and it's that simple. It really is. And like I said before, you can race up, you can never race down. So once your Griffin becomes a class one, you know, the way they do that is by placing in the top four of any race. They do that, they go class one. Now, they did say it is possible to go from a class one to a Griffin, but I imagine you'd have to lose for quite a while. And there's really not that many class two horses right now. Just because races really haven't been kicking off like everybody's wanted because <clears throat> these gas fees have really been slowing us down. But... Once that gets fixed, uh, hold your hat because I, I think you're going to see a lot of races kicking off. And it's going to be quite exciting. It'd be really awesome if this transaction goes through. So if you're having to wait a minute, what you can do is open up your MetaMask. And then you can say speed up. When you click on that, it'll give you this window. So right now that's the average here. I don't mind paying a little extra. So a lot of times I make sure it's the fastest, click save, and it's not immediate when you do that. But a lot of times it will speed it up and you'll find, especially if you have a bunch of piled up transactions, if you do that just for the first one, a lot of times that one will go, and then next thing you know, all of them will start going. So you don't have to do it on every single one. But, ooh, look, transaction confirmed. We got a race coming on in 15 minutes. And that's how it'll work. It'll pop up there, it says scheduling. 
We'll show the horses in there. And I'm not going to make you guys sit here 15 minutes. Okay? So probably what I'll do is I'll just stop right here. And then once this race kicks off, I'll start back up. And then have to do some med editing magic. It's great to go. Frappe and Tosagrio. Genesis, 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 Genesis. Oh, wow. So this legendary is when two Genesis breed a legendary. Two legendaries make an exclusive. If legendary bleeds with a Genesis, it's still an exclusive. The only way you can get legendaries breeding two Genesis is together. But you can get an exclusive by breeding with a Genesis or two legendaries together. And so on and so forth. There's actually a pretty good article on it in a, a medium post about breeding and all that stuff. I'll cover it in another video at some point. But until this race kicks off, we'll just have to wait.